get hot like a skillet. Think about money in the building. On the phone with the lender and I'm living. If the bank had a cap, I would deal it. Like really, trying to get pillars. Get a bigger high view, so vivid. A couple cars, it could fall like really. You think materials make me sound silly. Like really, How you so good. And welcome in. Just about set. And our pitcher in this game, Jose Suarez. Well, last year, kind of around the league average in terms of ERA. And you know what? That's why you have five different spots in the starting rotation. You've got to have people round things out. And not everyone's going to pitch like a number one or number two every outing or every season. But last year, he gave his team an opportunity and a chance to win every time he took the mound on average and when you look at that kind of performance it has a place on every ball club next one plate. is off the play yeah that's ball two it's a good take on the ground and oh. that's just foul the pitch high fly ball out to center field Makes the catch for the out. Nate Eaton steps in for the Royals. Uh -huh. And there's the strike. Liner, and that should be extra bases. And that's going to roll to the wall. Now he'll turn for second. Not stopping, he's going for three. And he'll make it into third with a triple. Seeing some good swings from him right now with consecutive extra base hits. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Ha! Next offering is in for a strike. Okay. Fights it off, he'll see another. The 0-2. Gets a piece. And stays alive. Eaton stands a third with one gone in the inning. Knocks that one away and will do it again. And one and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Bows that off to the left and will do it again. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Next pitch has popped up and puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two away. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. And first offering is fouled off. Runner at third, two away. Swing and a ball hammered left field. That one on its way. And out of here. Well, he really crushed that thing down the line, and everyone had to hold their breath until it clanked off the pole. And every time that happens, it just kind of feels like a trick shot or something. But really, it's just a stroke of luck that it stays fair long enough. Going to now. Up the middle, and it gets by him. Here's Hunter Dozier to the dish, and that's in there for strike one. Curveball drops in there. Well, he got away with the mistake right there, a curveball that backed up a little bit. And he got him. Strike three, and that'll retire the in Anaheim and today's starter Brad Keller what do you have on him well he got into the eighth inning his last time out really pitching deep in the games as of late we'll see today how many innings he's got in him the pitch and first offering is fouled off well after scoring runs this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning get that hot team back in there to swing the bats base knock center field
Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him, so that one has to feel good. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. And now Eaton makes the grab, and there's one down. Brett Phillips, the next to hit for the Angels. And first offering is fouled off. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. In the dirt, blocked. And it's a ball and a strike as the runner holds. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss. I think he was sitting off speed there. Righty delivers. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Shohei Otani up to the dish. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. That's hard hit in the line. And it jumps the wall in foul territory for an automatic double. Luis Renjifo gets a chance to hit here. Here's a guy who's been struggling so far this year. It's only late April, but still hoping he'll turn it around soon. And that gets down into the gap. One run is in. Another scores. Two runs in on the play. It's 2-2. Two -two. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands. You let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Now here is Taylor Ward. The 0-1. Late swing, fouled off. Oh and 2 now. Snags the liner back to the mound. Over to first. And that is the third out of the year. All set for the Back here at Angel Stadium, here's the veteran first baseman, Brandon Drury. Here comes a pitch. And he grounds one back up the middle, and it finds its way through for a hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Now it's Anthony Rendon. And first offering is fouled off. This one in the dirt. And an excellent job keeping it right there. Rudder at first with no outs here. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Max Stassi comes up to hit. Didn't play in last night's game. A little breather for him. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Dives and he can't hang on. To first and he beats it, everyone's safe. So the batting order turns over. Here's David Fletcher. Singled and scored his first time. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Boog. Line drive, base hit. Headed for the plate. Here comes the throw. Runner from second crosses the plate. It's 3-3. Save. Back even, it's 3-3. Runners at the corners here, one away. And stepping in is the speedy Andrew Velasquez. And a base hit on the line. 
In comes the runner from third. Four to three. They take the lead. The tag, and he's out at second. So in now for the Angels, Brett Phillips. Struck out swinging his first time. That one blasted deep to right. That's back. And that one is out of here. His first homer of the year, and they add on. It's 6-3. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. Here's Shohei Otani. That one is absolutely belted. Waters raging back towards the wall. And that ball is gone. Shohei Otani goes deep, and they add to their lead. It's 7-3. Back-to-back -back jacks, and this club is fired up right now, Boog. I mean, this is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other, and the collective confidence just continues to grow. And that one hammered. That's back there. And that one is off the batter's eye. Wow, out of here. He circles the bases. His second of the year, it's 8-3. To back home runs and these guys look so dominant right now pitcher might want to check and see if he's tipping his pitches or not but I tell you what if this was basketball that opposing team would call a timeout to try to slow down this offense out to short wit over to first inning over on the ground out and as we go to the last of the third and now the first baseman Brandon Drury that hits the dirt. Ball one. And yeah, that's outside. And a foul ball makes the count two and one. And a pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And now it's filled up. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Dozier hauls it in, and there's one away. Anthony Rendon making his way to the plate. He's 0 for 1. Swings through that one. 0 and 1. Rendon goes 6 foot 1, a member of the 1,000 hit club, a former first round pick back in 2011. Base hit, so they get a man aboard with a one out single. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And now he's tagged out at second as he can't get back. Throw to first, safe. So the lineup flips over. David Fletcher, the next to hit for the Angels. Line drive, base hit right field. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. And next for the Angels, Andrew Velasquez. A switch hitter batting right. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Way out front for strike two. Not a swing you want to watch again. Foul ball still 0-2. 
swing and a ball hammered left field that one's carrying in one hops off the wall should be extra bases one run is in pulls into second that's an RBI double really nice job of two strike hitting and that at bat put a pretty good jolt into that one great swing nice balance and weight transfer and he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field Phillips at the plate for the third time as he comes up empty there he's already homered here in this one Swing and a pop up in foul ground. Two on, two outs. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Welcome back. John Chavi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Shohei Otani. Tap softly to the right side, and they tag him out. Luis Rangifo. The next to hit for the Angels. He's already homered in this game. Swing and a miss, and he waves at that one. Big time jam right there. I hate it as a hitter, but standing in center field, you can't help but chuckle a little bit. And it's oh. one and one. Good eye right there. There's a swing and a drive. Dozier ranging back, still going back. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. So digging in, Taylor Ward. That ball exploded off his bat and off the warning track as well as it bounced over the fence. It sounded really good, too. He just put together a really nice swing and just missed a home run. Ripped to third and caught. Throw not in time as he's able to get back to avoid the double play. The batter, the first baseman, Brandon Murray. Drury up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. Out to center. Waters settles underneath it. And he makes the catch. And that'll do. Back. Back here at Angel Stadium. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's Anthony Rendon up to the plate. They say you went. No ball. One strike. Swings and misses. Oh, with two now. Well, this guy on the mound understands that this batter is trying to take him deep. I think the key here is change speeds. Keep him off balance. In the dirt. Perez gets it to first. That takes care of Rendell. Max Stassi, the next to hit for the Angels. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there's two away. So two down now, and here is David Fletcher. Out to short, Witt over to pick it up. Slings it across, Fletcher retired. That's Bottom of the six. So in now for the Angels, Andrew Velasquez. The wide to kick the pitch. Slider misses outside. Velasquez goes five feet, nine inches, 28 years old. And he was drafted in the seventh round back in 2012. And that one almost got him. The 2-0 is in for a strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable to play is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. It's a double, and he's three for four tonight. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. He got a pitch he could drive, but he didn't get too excited like a lot of guys do and pull off the baseball. Really good timing all the way through the swing, and the barrel was so on plane with the ball. Easy drive into the gap for that double. 
and the 1 0. That oh. one missed. Velasquez stands at second with no outs. Swing and a miss. And it's two and one now. Strike on the inside corner. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind. And down on strikes he goes. One gone here. And now Shohei Otani. First offering misses badly for ball one. Runner at second here, one gone. And a ground ball to first. And he handles it himself for the out. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. Luis Rangifo will hit next. Lifted in the air, right field. Dozier pulls that one down, and that will end the inning. Angels leave one. They're on top, however. New inning getting started. Here's the shot. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Taylor Clark. He's pitching on two days rest. Taylor Ward now at the plate. The pitch. Fouled off. He was late. That's a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Well, he waited until the seventh, but that's the knock that'll extend his hitting streak. Singy, how much does it weigh on your mind when you're coming to the plate in the late innings with a streak going? Yeah, quite a bit, and a hitter's supposed to say... Fires to second for one. Return throw, gets him at first. It's a 3-6-1 double play. Now it's the second baseman, Anthony Rendon. On the ground to short. Witt over to first. That takes care of Rendell. Ready to begin the eighth. And welcome back. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Here's the Angels catcher, Max Stassi. Next pitch has popped up. Eaton in position. And puts the squeeze on that. And a quick out number one. And next for L.A., David Fletcher. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Well, pretty clear to me. He was trying to go deep right there, but you got to get a pitch that you can handle. Just a slow ground ball this time. Tosses to first, and a couple of quick outs. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out front, rolled over on it. Exactly what he was supposed to do. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Man at first, Brett Phillips, the next to hit for the Angels. Clark picks over Velasquez, gets back easily. That's a laser base hit. So that's two straight, two out hits. Shohei Otani, the next to hit for the Angels. And first offering is fouled off. And the righty deals. Popped up on the left side of the infield. Eaton makes the play, and that's the end. Welcome back. We go to the ninth, and the batter will be the shortstop, Bobby Witt Jr. Back now, and on the mound, the closer, Jimmy. 
9-4, our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shabby saying so long. Let the mic smoke. Now I slam it when I'm done and make sure it's broke. When I'm gone, no one gets on. Cause I won't let nobody press up and mess up the scene I set. I like to stand in a crowd and watch the people wonder. But think about it, then you understand. I'm just a to music. Maybe it's a habit. I gotta use it. Even if it's jazz or the quiet storm. I hook a beat up, convert it into hip hop form. Write a rhyme and graffiti in every show you see me in deep concentration. Here's Alex Verdugo. And the pitch. Swings and misses. And we are underway in game one of the series. Swings through that one for strike two. The pitch. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Well, clearly just anxious right there, and understandably so in an 0-2 count. You feel like you've got a lot of plate to cover, and you don't want to strike out, and you end up striking out. That's just one of those pitches where it's not over the plate, but because you committed to it as it was leaving his hand, by the time you realized it wasn't going to be in the zone, it's too late to hold up your swing. Adelberto Mundesi up to the plate. Center field, Anderson on his way over. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Adam Duvall at the plate. Sat out last night's game, but back in there today. Adam Duvall. And that one is lifted in the air. Anderson gliding as he moves to his left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. We go to the Rob Refsnyder getting ready to hit. Here's a guy who's been struggling so far this year. It's only late April, but still hoping he'll turn it around soon. First pitch, and he just misses. Pulls that one foul. The wind and the pitch. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch at the plate lately. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. And here it comes. Fought off foul. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. We'll take a look at the three-pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting them away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0-2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there... Clearly, he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. Here's Kike Hernandez. And yeah, the first offering is not close. Base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. First and second, two down. Jorge Alfaro at the plate. Hitless and four at bats yesterday. Ground ball left side. Adamas handles. Third out. Back here. Well, here we go, top of the third scoreless game. And stepping in for Boston, Alex Verdugo. And there's a foul ball. Miley, a former All-Star, 36 years old, a former first-round pick, 
back in 2008. That one pushed to the left and foul. The 0-2. Line drive. Calls it in. And there's one away. Here's Christian Arroyo. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. And into second with one away. That's a double. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. And yeah, the batter down at Alberto Mondesi. And there's a hit. The throw in. It's offline, and he scores. And it's 1-0. Runner on at first with one gone. And now Adam Duvall. 0 for 1 so far. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Duvall, 34-year-old vet, and he's a former National League Gold Glover. Next pitch inside. One ball, one strike. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. Then he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Here's a one-two. Swing and a ball lifted to center field. Anderson makes the grab, two down. Next is the designated hitter, Rob Ref Snyder. One for one with a single so far. In the dirt, and the runner stays where he is. All in one now. It's a pitch one out, one. nothing doing, and that's ball one. It's softly on the ground, left side. That ends the frame. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now one. Back. And welcome back. Here's Bobby Dahlbeck. The first baseman, Bobby. Miley, back to work. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike one. Something I'm noticing in this one is that these guys are aggressive early in the count. It makes you wonder if that was talked about in the hitters meeting before this game started. Kicks and fires. In the dirt. Throws the first. And one gone to the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Turner climbs in on that right side. Line drive. Leads and he's got it. Two outs. Bases empty. Enrique Hernandez digs in now. Enrique Hernandez. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. And now the lefty. That one the other way. And makes the play, and that's out. Bottom. Back here at American Family Field. And now it's going to be Jorge Alfaro. And he deals. And strike one to the catcher. Ripped to short, Adamas picks it up onto first, and the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball well, out of the air, oh, lets the defense work behind Alex. him with another ground ball. Verdugo. Good execution. Verdugo up to hit for the third time as he lays off inside ball one. Swing and a base hit. Christian Arroyo up next for the Red Sox. Good contact guy, good defender. 
Lined, and that's a base hit. Verdugo around second, headed for third. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. And now at Alberto Mondesi. And first offering is fouled off. In the air, out towards right center. Anderson trots over to his left. Racing makes the catch. Runner tags from third. The throw is offline, and he's in to score. It's two zip. Sometimes all you got to do is your job, and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play, and a nice job with the sack fly. And first offering is fouled off. Arroyo off of first with two away. Next offering is fouled back. Deal two. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Welcome back. Now it's the DH. Rob Ref Snyder. Milo back to work. Rolled over to third. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. At the play, Bobby Dahlbeck. Dahlbeck, 27 years old, and he was drafted in the fourth round back in 2016. First offering misses the mark. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. One down, base is empty. In the air, right field. Pulls it in, and there's two away. Justin Turner now. Turner goes five feet, 11 inches, 200 pounds, and he's been on a good run at the plate, hitting over 300 in his last 10 games. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Urias, sizing this one up, makes the grab, and that's the inning. No runs. No. Well, we go bottom six. Up now for Milwaukee, Bryce Terang. Back now for the bottom of the six. And so digging in, Enrique Hernandez. One for two. And a pitch. Lined in the left center, base hit. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. So much of good hitting is finding holes in the defense. That's why you're always thinking line drive into the gap. Those kinds of swings really boost your confidence. And here is swing and a high fly ball in the air left field. Reaching for it, makes the catch. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Verdugo. Now in the box. Oh, comes up empty with a swing there. Liner caught it second. So stepping in for Boston, Christian Arroyo. That's towards center. Anderson drifts towards it. And that's the third out. So one hit. Bottom of the seventh. Now. Welcome back. And a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Matt Bush. A chance at his first save of the year. Matt Bush. The pitch. Mondesi stands in here. Leaves that one off the inside.
Up the middle, Adamas collects it. Fires over to first. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Couple of pitches and a quick out. Bounced up the middle. He dives, but he can't make the catch. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. That's one of those you classify as just too hot to handle. Hit it on the screws, and it couldn't be fielded cleanly, but you can't really blame the defense in that case. Ref Snyder now at the plate as he swings through strike one. One for three. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. Hauls it in, two away. And here's the first baseman, Bobby Dahlbeck. Swings through that one, 0-1. Looks like he went up there guessing on the first pitch and was going to sell out to it. Didn't make any contact, though. Duvall, the runner at first with two gone. Out to short. That's the third yeah. out. One left for the... Bottom of the eighth, digging in. Willie Adamas. Back now, new pitcher on the mound. Here's Turner now. The pitch. Bush goes five feet, nine inches, 180 pounds, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. Kicks and deals. And that one in the air center field. And there's one away. Here's the center fielder, Enrique Hernandez. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Swung on, belted. That's back there. Feeling for the wall as he makes the catch. As good as he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand, you cannot hang a breaking ball right there. Lucky it stayed in the ballpark. And what fouled off. Here comes the 1. Swing and a miss, 98 on the gun. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters. Got to get in the swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. In the dirt. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Brewers take the series opener here at home. And your final 6-2 to two for Chris Singleton and our... Ready to go here. Here's Alex Verdugo. Here comes a pitch. Ground ball up the middle. Terang over to first in time. One out in the top of the first. Here's Christian Arroyo. Hit hard, that gets through. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he's squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Next pitch, not close, up high.
Good eye right there. This hitter's looking for a fastball, but I'm not sure he's going to get one. Pitcher doesn't have to challenge him. If he feels better about his off-speed secondary stuff, then stay with it. Swing and a miss. Two balls, two strikes. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup, and now two gone. Adam Duvall at the plate. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Burns, a former Cy Young Award winner. He throws a cutter, a curb, a changeup, a slider, and he works in a sinker. Swing and a miss. And a count is 0-2. Down the line towards the corner. Taylor ranging after it. Nice grab on the run. That is the... And now here's Justin Turner looking for better results than last night. He went 0 for 4. And the right hander back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Righty to the plate. On the ground, right side. And foul ball. The 0 2. And a swing and a miss. And that's the first out. Well, take a look at the three pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting them away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0 2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. One down, base is empty. And now it's even up. No score here in the second. And a rope into center field, base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Here's Reese McGuire. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. So one out with two aboard. Here's Bobby Dahlbeck. He was hitless in four at-bats yesterday. He swings and fouls one off. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Strike two. Well, we can see him muscle up a little bit. He's trying to hit the ball a mile. Got to make sure that he stays within himself so that those mechanics can allow him to hit the ball a long way. Grounded to third. Could be two. Tags the runner for one, and that's two. So it's no. All set for the start of the inning. Adelberto Mondesi up to the plate. Adelberto Mondesi. The pitch. Down to ball here. Rolls foul. You know, these Red Sox definitely being aggressive at the plate, but I think it's fair to wonder if they're being a little over-aggressive. The numbers tell us they're swinging at the first pitch more than 90% of the time, and that's an extremely high number, especially when you're not getting results, Boog. Alex Verdugo will hit next. Rolled out to second in his first at bat. Swing and a miss, and it's 0-1. Grounder might be two. To second, there's one. Relay to first, double play. And next for the Red Sox, Christian Arroyo. One for one, he singled the left his first time through. And that one sliced foul. Arroyo, in his fifth season, batting second in today's lineup. He's been scoring a lot of runs lately. He scored nine times in the last 10 games. Strike two. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. 
And now one and two. This batter has to understand his job is to get on base however he can. If he gets hit by a pitch, if he walks, maybe even singles. But you want to get the heart of the order up to the plate. And it's through for a hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. Timing on the swing was good, able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Two outs. And strike two. Hurt yourself swinging at that and missing. In the dirt, blocked. Nice job behind the plate there. One, two now. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Arroyo off of first with two away. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Start of the fourth, and now the right fielder, Adam Duvall. Adam Duvall. The pitch. Little chopper rolls foul. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this oh. inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Tosses to the pitcher, covering the bag. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Turner climbs in on that right side. His first hit bat was a strikeout. And he was nowhere near that one for strike one. That's one of those swing now before the pitchers even let go of the baseball. And that one lifted in the air center field and makes the grab out number two. Here's Kike Hernandez picked up a base hit to center his first time up. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. That's back there. And that one is gone. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. Left field. He's got it. And that is out number three. Solo homer helps Boston cut into the lead. Ready now for the fifth inning, and stepping in for Boston, Bobby Dahlbeck. And a pitch. Hard hit, left field, could be extra bases. Into second base, the tying run is on with a leadoff double. At Alberto Mondesi, up next for the Red Sox, and he's already singled in this game. And it's fouled away. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Base hit into the outfield. Here comes the runner. Here comes the throw. It's offline. The run comes in. We are tied at two. Raleigh gets it done in a big spot to get the run across. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Burns with a move to first. Oh, he throws it away. But he's in there easily. Mondesi at second with nobody out. Ripped into left center for a base hit. Runner around third on his way to the plate. He'll score easily. It's 3-2.
Well, oh, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. No outs, runner at first. Christian Arroyo, the next to hit. Tap back up the middle, Adamas. Oh, behind the back! A sensational double play. Here's Rafael Devers. Going one. Looks like he went up there guessing on the first pitch. It was going to sell out to it. Didn't make any contact, though. Right-hander kicks deals. Wouldn't chase that time. Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact. So not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind him. At the belt and fires. Foul ball still a one and two count. Left hand batter waits. Fights that one away, still one and two. Left hand hitter waits. Fouls it off, still one and two. Righty delivers. Way inside, gets out of the way. Next offering way off the plate. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game-winning run. I love his tenacity. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. To the right side. Throw over to Telez. And Devers is set. And welcome back. John Chappie with my buddy. Now it's going to be Adam Duvall. The outfield playing him to pull with the center fielder positioned in that left center field gap. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. You know, these Red Sox, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. Just look at how the ball's coming off their bats and tell me it's fun playing defense at this level. They've got seven hits at 90 plus miles per hour exit velocity, so you gotta look alive out there. And a pitch. Swings through it and that's a strikeout. So now Turner in on that right side. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. One down. Enrique Hernandez now at the plate. He's sitting on 99 career homers. We'll see if this oh is the moment to notch number 100. Ground ball right side could be two. Terang over to second and still another double play there back here at the ballpark now at the plate Willie Adamas back now for the bottom of the sixth and there's a new pitcher on the mound new pitcher now Jansen Junk he's pitching on two days rest here's the catcher Reese McGuire and the first pitch misses for ball one. Hit on the ground to the right side. The flip to the pitcher covering. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. And now the first baseman, Bobby Dahlbeck. And that's outside. And there's a ball.
2-0. And another ball. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Tapped in front of the plate. Whips it to first on the run. Save! One gone runner at first. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop at Alberto Mondesi. And first offering is fouled off. Dahlbeck leads off first with one away. This one in the air center field. That gets down for a hit into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. When you flare a ball out behind second base, it's really a tough spot for anyone to get to. And you're never trying to do that as a hitter, but when you do, I tell you what. Hard liner. Dive in, makes the grab. Runner tagging from third. To the plate, save. And they lead by two. Now, Christian Arroyo. Throw over to first. Mondesi, back in standing. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. For a guy that's been swinging the bat well all game long, that was a pretty ugly swing right there. I'm sure he'll tighten it up on this next pitch. That one ripped. Mitchell brings it in for the third out. Welcome back. Back here at American Family Field, we go to the eighth. Joe stepping in for Boston, Rafael Devers. And Devers hits that one. Taylor moving under it. Puts it away for the out. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little yeah, bit. Back. Couldn't quite barrel it Mike up enough Duvall. to really drive it. Adam. So here's Boston's Duvall. cleanup hitter, Adam Duvall. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, and one. Fooled on that pitch. Got a little anxious. And that one fouled off. Oh, and two now. Got him swinging. No need to deviate from the slider right there. The hitter just not making the adjustment. He came at him with the breaking ball, pitch after pitch, and that at bat, and evidently there was no answer for it. And fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Lined, and that's a base hit. Two outs, runner at first. And now the center fielder, Enrique Hernandez. He's already homered here in this one. In the air, fairly deep to right field. And that is that. And the Red Sox. Out of the bottom of the eight. Devin Williams into the game. He's got a wicked breaking ball in his arsenal, and it's definitely one of his go-to pitches when he needs an out. And here it comes. And that one wrapped foul. Williams, a 6-2 righty, 28 years old. And he was selected to the All-Star game last year. And the right-hander deals. Battling here as he fouls it away. And he deals. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Yelich right there to make the grab. And there's one down. So up next, Bobby Dahlbeck. First pitch, not close. Williams measures six feet, two inches, 200 pounds, and he was a second round pick back in 2013. And the righty deals. Jack Swing went around. And the count, one and two. And the 
One, two misses to even the count. Two, two down. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two outs, space is empty. At Alberto Mondesi, up next for the Red Sox. The outfield shifted pretty heavily towards right field. On the ground. Adamas, the throw to first. And that is that. Back here in Milwaukee, bottom nine. Up now for Milwaukee, Luis Or. to extra innings. Here's the left fielder, Alex Verdugo. Williams, back to work. Fouls one off out of play, back to our left. Extra innings certainly had a different feel starting in 2020 with a new rule placing a runner on second to begin the inning, and that forced teams to rethink their strategy in extra frames. Yeah, much less margin for error, and boo, to your dismay, not much sacrifice bunting. Teams usually try for the big inning. Certainly not that much bunting for the rope. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. So digging in, Christian Arroyo. Breaks his bat and pops it up. Throw over to Toro. Two in a row set down to start the 10. The tag gets him, and it's a double. We're in extras here, and now the catcher comes up to him. William Contreras. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Coming home. 